a pissed off Goomba. I'm dying. Where are you? Guys, I think the dying hates me. This is the worst opening to an episode ever. <laughs> uh, boy, I'm Tammy. No, sorry. Now it's the worst opening to an episode ever. <laughs> oh, hello everybody. This is Kristen Master for here. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's. What are you doing? Yep. You're pushing it all wrong. Shut up, Goomba. Welcome back to Let's Undertale. Oh, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Bah. Bah. It sounds like me. Bah. I can't do it. Bah. Sounds like me when I'm texting. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Just turns into Dr. Octagonopus. <laughs> Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octagonopus. <laughs> no, it, no it's, it becomes Doc Ock from Spider Man. Have you not seen the laser collection? What? With Shoop to Whoop? Oh my god, he hasn't seen the laser collection. Oh, I know what? we're sending him. <sighs> By the way, hello, Beast Get 100 and PJ. Shut up. Ooh, I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, kick, 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 kick. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get the drink. I'm reading this too fast. I got my one line and I fucked it up. <laughs> oh, kick, 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 kick. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. What, you don't want the water? No, go away. <laughs> Fine. If this was earlier, I could do a wider range of voices. The water That's evaporated the from the heat. The cup evaporated, too. You, <laughs> you hardly did any voices today, PJ. Yeah, but it's late. <sighs> Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this. What strange laboratory? There's nothing here but fire. You're filled with determination. <laughs> Sorry, Undyne like told us there was a totally a human in this area, so like us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Yeah. He's dead. Yes. Oh uh, yes, because Perfect. when somebody doesn't answer you, he's dead. La la la! I am the River Man. Or am I the River Woman? It doesn't really matter. You always have a deep voice. I love, I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Oh, I'd love to ride in your boat. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to Waterfall. Oh, that takes you back to places. Go back to Waterfall. The Waterfall! <laughs> Damn it, Onion Town. <laughs> Sorry. The Waterfall! Did I go back to Waterfall? Yes. Yes. Then we're off. I see what they did there. They made it so both genders can voice the, the, the river person. Sure. Yeah, and it's unlike the river sticks. Oh, la, la. The waters are wild today. That's good luck. Don't ask me why. I don't even know myself. I just make shit up, and then I tell people, like, write up more things. And they can just kind of believe me. Ew, that's what that's for. Come in sometime. Try la la. But they do make quick travel a little bit easier to deal with. Mm -hmm. I never used the CT. Or look at it. CT heals 10 HP made from a glowing marsh water. Increases speed for one battle. What do you do again? Heals 34 HP, a psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. So where do I go? Uh, oh, back to Undyne's house. Right? <laughs> How the fuck did you... Ugh, never mind. What? what? Nothing. I never... The... Neither of us said anything about it was Undyne's house. Actually, you did. No, I didn't. No, you, sure. no, you didn't. Did you not? Oh, wait, no. No, Kristoff did. You well, actually... I was thinking because that was the first thing that we didn't do in this whole session. Anyway. I asked Undyne if we could ha all hang, but she said something weird. She 
She said she won't hang out with a murderer. Oh. Fuck. But, hmm. I don't remember murdering anyone. <laughs> Though I am a pretty brutal kind of guy. Oh, uh, you're so brutal. Then she said something about wanting to. <laughs> she said something about the place wanting to. Fight some kind of bad guy. But she seemed very weak from something. She's kind of a she's kind of a heat. She's kind of a heat. She's kind of a bitch when it comes to heat. She stepped out and collapsed in the doorway. So I'm just waiting here in case she needs me. Oh, yeah. Well, step us. Well, no, I'm not doing the voice the way I wanted to. Well, step away, Papyrus. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm going to go in and save her. I kind of figured. Uh, since she hates being what? Wait. Since she hates being waited on hand and foot, I think we'll have to hang out later. Oh shit! I guess well, not. Damn it! There goes one of the funniest Papyrus moments. Damn it! What? 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 It's a oh, living. Yeah. It's a living. Oh. I already made that joke. Yeah, I know we already made that joke. I forgot that we made that joke. The, in, in fact, you guys didn't even make the joke. The, the the game made the joke. That's the point. All right, go back to Hotland. Sammy Village. Sorry. Damn it. You know, if you didn't murder Toriel, we would have been able to do that. Do what? If you, no, if you wouldn't have mor mortared. Moited. Wouldn't have moited uh, anything. Really? No, I think... Uh, really? Well, he also killed the, uh... Well, he killed a numerous amount of things. That's true. Oh, well. Well, Papyrus is still here, so I'm happy. Wait, am I actually going to Temi Village? Mm -mm. What? No. Also, I was supposed to voice him. Thank you for that. He, um... You're welcome. I don't know. I don't know. He, it's just randomized what he says. He or she. Excuse me. Also, the do the 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 boat is yeah. Up. There's a dog face on that. I noticed. Also, he was running on the water. I don't know if you noticed that. I also noticed that. Okay. And now it's gone. <laughs> I just wanted to come back. Stop. It's not gonna come back. Seizure warning. Shit. Who's gonna voice this one? Uh. Oh fuck. I can. How ne how much of a nerdy voice can you do, Kristoff? I I can do a pretty good one. I I, I can do a pretty good one. Okay. Uh, no, fuck. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can do I can do a little bit. It's you. That, that sounds too much like Timmy. <laughs> that'll work. It's too dark to see near the walls. Actually, that actually that'll work for now. It's I, too dark I, to see. I, near I, the I walls. need another voice. Think the voice. Well, okay, fine. Then you do. Oh no, no, no! I'll do Metaton. What? <laughs> you mean nobody, right? Yeah, nobody. Oh my God! I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy. And what? Um, uh, uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphitz. I'm Asgore's royal... Asgore? I'm Asgore's royal scientist. Warning. Uh, Asgore warning. There will be bloody asses. <laughs> Bobby, you probably shouldn't be eating it. Exactly seven of them. Seven asses. <laughs> One, two, three, four, seven five, six, seven. Seven asses. Seven but, Asgore. But, but, uh, I'm not one of those bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins... In red giant text, I've been observing your journey through my console. Not creepily, of course. Your what? fights, your friendships, everything. <laughs> All those I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. So, <laughs> so uh, now I want to help you. Yeah, all those cameras. With my are... knowledge, I can easily guide you to the hotlands. What, right, Rob? I know a way right to Asgore's castle. No problem. I should probably make, make her it say Asgore just cuz. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Oh god, now I know why you want to voice him. But, uh, <laughs> you know, like a robotic TV star or something. 
Or anyway, something. recently I decided to make something. it more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. What like, adjustments? Um, adjustments. Anti anti human combat features. Uh, of, of course. When I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood! And I'm <laughs> voicing him. Exactly why PJ is voicing him. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Hopefully. Immediately he's gonna run into him. Did you hear something? Mm. Clang! Oh. Oh no! Oh yes! <laughs> Damn it! Are you really gonna use that? <laughs> Alright, fine. <laughs> Welcome, beauties! <laughs> oh my. To today's quiz show! Hey, I, I saw you before! No, you didn't. Oh boy! I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand to our wonderful contestant! Yay. No play before, team. gorgeous? No problem! It's simple! There's only one rule! Enter correctly. Or you die! <laughs> Metaton attacks. It's weird music. Hello! Metaton. Oh my god! 10 attack, 999 defense. His metal body hey, renders him you now. Inv hey, hey, invulnerable hey. to attack. Hey, Kristoff, rem remember the training you got from Molesbig and uh, in Washua? Yeah. Yeah, I hope you're prepared. Let's start with an easy one! What's the prize for answering correctly? Money, mercy, new car, or more questions. Right! Sounds like you get it! The quiz show continues. Uh, this sounds a lot like Shantae music if it was done very weirdly. There are no genies in here! <laughs> Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize! Oh god. What's the king's full name? More fun uh, ones, fuzzy pushover, Asgore as Dreamer, or Dr. French. Correct! What a terrific answer! The show continues. Enough about you! Let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams, metal and magic, nips and snails, or sugar and spice? Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Here's another easy one for you! Two, two trains, train A and train B, simultaneously depart station A and station B. Station what? A and station B are 225.5 miles apart from what, each other. Train A is moving to... Uh, wonderful! I'm astounded, folks! Holy crap. <laughs> I tried. I couldn't the do fuck? it. <laughs> I can't read that fast. <laughs> Don't count on your victory! Oh. Oh no, this one. How many flies are in this jar? Correct! You're so lucky today! How the hell are you doing this? <laughs> Wait, Rob, uh, Rob I, you don't get it? Best. Uh, Real? I, yeah, Kristoff, you're the best. We'll fight you. Totally. It, it can't work, right? So fighting him would do nothing. I have no objections. Let's play a memory game while you few. Uh, uh, fuck it. Uh. I know what that is. That is boy. That's embarrassing, huh? <laughs> the quiz show continues. Oh shit! That took away half my health. No. Okay. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? <laughs> the counter's going up. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. Great answer. I love it. Do, do, you, do you understand why he asked that question, Rob? Which one? Is the, he a ghost? That one. Yeah. Do you really? No. Are you sure? I'll tell you later. Well, much later.
How many letters are in the name Metaton? I thought it was going to crash. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought it was too. No, no, no. Can't you read? No, it's... I, I know what that was doing. And I completely screwed up like, how much it originally had. And it kept adding each with each end. First off, are you really not... Wait. Yeah. Time to break out the big guns! In the dating simulator video game, Mew Mew Kissy Oh! Oh! Oh, I know this one! It's snail ice cream! In the fourth chapter, everyone goes in and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's the snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it! And it's also one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Yeah, Chris, this is totally your character. Elvis! 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 You aren't helping our contestant, are you? <laughs> Wait, did you notice that, Kristoff? What? Did, did neither of you notice that? What? Throughout the questions? Snails? Throughout the questions. She was making the letter with her hands. Oh, she was? Oh my god, you guys never even noticed? No. Well. Oh. Yeah. oh, ask a question! I was told about that before, but... Yeah. I didn't recall. Alright. You'll be sure to know the answer to. I thought that's actually what you were doing, Christoph. <laughs> Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Ooh. Oh, it doesn't change. Who do you ship? Undyne, Asgore the human, or don't know? I think it's Asgore. We're not going to tell you what the answer is, Kristoff. I know. Why would someone outfit an amusement robot with brutal combat capabilities? Simple. To impress Mr. Asgore Dreamer, of course. Or as Elphys calls him, Mr. Dreamy. I, I actually never saw anyone pick Asgore. Yeah, no, neither did I. Those strong arms. That lustrous beard. Like all those create... Wait. All, th all those who create weapons. She craves the tender embrace of a burly man. Oh, God. Can she truly be blamed? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alvis helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But. But it's not like I needed it. <laughs> but. But. <laughs> this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Oh! <laughs> no, that should have been in reverse because he was going up. Oh! <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I, I can just do that in editing. Well, that was certainly something. You have a crush on the king. Th that last question. He wasn't s supposed to ask that one. Alphys is adorable. <laughs> kind of stupid as well, but sure. Even though she's but a let scientist. Let me see my phone number. Then maybe if you need help, I could... Look... Where'd you get that phone? It's urgent! It doesn't even have texting. But wait a second, please! Oh, the texting feature, if only you did Let me get Drake up in here! Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. You even have this thing called Tinder! <laughs> no! <laughs> Now we're officially friends. <laughs> she would totally put that on. Hey. Okay. I'm going to the bathroom. Oh. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Also, let's go. Okay. <laughs> I was walking sideways up the thing. Scientific books, they seem very dusty. I almost said thirsty. <laughs> All these books are labeled human God, history. These books are so thirsty. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Yeah. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They're all labeled human history. Wait. They're also the same color as your skin. Oh. Uh, all books are labeled human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. 
This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Doesn't say what gender, though. It doesn't. Yeah. All these books, they look the, the Spoiler, history. they're both male. Aww. A hideous android is running to the school with toast in its mouth. That's a, a reference. as a teenage robot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was what I was referencing. Seems like it's late. It doesn't strike you as very... Oh, what, you weren't referencing every anime? anime obviously. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. That's gross. That's an anime girl with a chainsaw. Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. Oh, I thought you were saying the anime girl had the chainsaw. I'm just like, hmm, that doesn't. That sounds familiar too. <laughs> yeah, lollipop chainsaw. Yep. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats God. and a single clean dress. God damn, that's an old game. You know who Ju Juliet Starling is voiced by? Who? <laughs> Tara Strong. Anyway, while we're still there recording are this. There are letters from, from many monsters here. So get Rob, that sounds know. horrible. <laughs> no, I was saying that because she also references. She also voices someone from a recent show. We're recording this, and this entire section is just going to be Rob crunkle, crinkling. It catches very loudly in the recording, too, so. Oh, I put it right in the mic. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Thank you for taking my line. <laughs> well, it's me saying the line. An incredible no, invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Uh, I love that. And technically, your character doesn't say anything. It's the narrator, dumbass. Well, it's my thoughts. As the narrator. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. <laughs> Seems like the notes are something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... Buttons. It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat ears. I got for that one. And soda. Is, is Dr. Alphys like a hit, like a, like a closet otaku or something? Because if, if she is, then that's kind of cool. I thought you were going to say Hitler otaku. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> that was the first thing that my that my mind went to. I'm a horrible person. Oh, now I'm, just now I'm just picturing Hitler as an otaku. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so destroys the Jews. But after I watch the next episode of Bleach, and I don't know where the accent went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got instant noodles. It's a half-empty bag of dog food. Go look at uh, bag. Wait, you're not there anymore. I wonder why. And that makes more sense now. Yep. Wait. Can I go in there? No! The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Oh. <laughs> I love the I love I love the thought of him just hanging out in the wall that whole time. <laughs> Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Aww. Get ready for this this entire area. Oh my god, really? Is she is she gonna update her status all the time? Oh, get get, get, box? get that picture ready, Rob. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what? oh, what? Dimensional box, oh, right, A right, right, and B. Right, right, right. right. Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> Ow! It's turned into Mario for some reason. <laughs> And now you're Ross. <laughs> Fuck. No, Ross, Ross is like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what Ross is like. I can mimic it. Stop it. Sorry. Uh, fuck Ross and fuck you for imitating okay. Ross. I've already damaged my throat a lot. Too. Ross can be funny when he's not making Mario Maker levels. He has HP. Comes with everything you need for a quick meal. For a quickie. What? Hmm. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her a bit the later. Hmm. The uh, the faces are not meant to have noises with them, Chris. <laughs> they will they will have noises because it's anime. For now, I gotta call up on the human and guide them. <laughs> They're all <laughs> apparently because you made the same noise three times. No, I didn't. Whoa, Vulcan. I can voice it. Insert Star Trek reference here. 
I have a feeling I don't want to wake you up. But I will with my tap dancing shoes! Well. Whoa. It was not asleep. It just had its eyes closed. Oh. Gotta call them in the minute! Yay! <laughs> no, that there was the same face last time and you did. Mm. Oh. You don't you don't know how to anime at all. No, he, he no he should have done. Ah. But ah. I can't make the, if I make the face, it won't really do anything with my video because no one will see it. Ah. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs, and also the website, it fills you with determination. Ah. Ah. Oh wait. Ah. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. Oh no! Stop the episode. Uh. Stop the episode. Oh right. Sorry. Uh, bye, God. Uh, oh, oh my Super God! Plane. <laughs> oh, Super Plane. Thunder Plane gets in the way. I, I was, I was waiting for that. Thing. You want to voice it? Who? You. Me? Yeah, you. Oh God, I don't know if I can. I, I, I don't know if I can do it. Hey, Chris, you want to voice it? <laughs> you tell <laughs> Thunder Plane. Just passing out the voice. Part. Huh? You sicko! I just feel like he would have the most fun doing it. <laughs> oh my. Why is there a thunder plane? Takes its nose dismiss dismissively at you. <laughs> dismissively. We need to do this like midday. Cause... Oh, mm, mm. When there's no school. You get close yeah. to thunder plane, but not too close. Eek! Human! Green. I oh, it's green. green. I can heal. I can do so many th better voices when it's midday and my voice isn't destroyed. I'm trying to send him barrel roll. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love that one. You tell Sunderplane it has a powerful rudder. Huh? You sicko! Do a barrel roll! Back up! Whoa! Alright, they're bombs. Do a barrel roll. Yeah, just, we, we just it smells like an airport powder. Per powder? Perfume counter. Powder counter. I kinda wanna save you. Oh! Accidentally bumps into you with its wing. I know what I had to do. <coughs> so, it's just an actual plane. So, so, Rob, have you ever killed one of those? One. Well, yeah. N no. Yes. Yes. Well, I have. well, actually, no. Wait, no. You're you're still on Undyne. Or would it have been the first run? Yeah, but like when I didn't know how to actually do the genocide run and I was just killing everything that was getting in my way. Oh, okay. I killed some. It is, it is so funny. Mm hmm. <laughs> so, bye. Bye. Yep.